What is going on guys? In this video, I'm going to talk a bit more about nodes in Ashes of Creation and how they're working in Alpha 1 and some feedback I think on how to improve upon these nodes. Because again, it's Alpha, they're taking feedback, they're listening to us, and they're going to continue to build the game off of all the input they get. So what you're looking at right now, this is a stage zero node, otherwise known as the wilderness. Nothing has happened here. You can't even tell that a city could bloom up here at any moment. It's just an empty field filled with grass and a couple rocks and things like that. So in the final bit of the game, I would love to see this area more flourish with life when there's no node active. So creatures, resources to gather, more trees and stuff filling up the area, obviously depending on the biome you're into. That way, it doesn't just look like this wide open field. In the alpha, you know, it works. They're in the early process of the node system, still not everything's developed, so it definitely can change down the road. But in the final version of the game, not every single node is gonna level up like they do in the alpha. Nodes can lock each other out, and only so many nodes can be developed and there can only be so many metropolises and so many villages and cities and all of that. So it makes more sense in the final version of the game to this be a little more populated with whatever specific to that area just to fill it up. Maybe add some old abandoned ruins or statues or things to explore or anything like that. But eventually if players choose to develop a node, they're going to kill things and gather and complete quests and anything that gives that player player XP is also going to give the node XP and from this wilderness stage node this node is going to flourish into the crossroads node which is a stage one node. So once you get in the crossroads nodes right now they're filled with all of these trees surrounding them and in the center of these trees is a small encampment of tents and NPCs because NPCs have finally settled here. They're setting up shop. You guys have contributed XP to this node and they're going to continue to improve upon it and start giving you quests and there's various vendors and things and all of that. So right now still these nodes are kind of small. There's not a lot to them. I don't even know if you're going to have all the profession vendors in the final version of the node or if that's just for alpha to test the professions. But as you can see, exploring through it, there's not much to it. There, In this node in particular, this is Winstead as a crossroads. There was one quest giver in it, Lieutenant Fiona, I think, something along those lines. And she gave me one quest and came back and that was it. That was all of the quests for the nodes. Again, not final, this is alpha. After stage one node, you continue to give more XP, you continue to progress in the area, and then eventually you get to stage two nodes. So you've gone from stage zero to stage one and now stage one to stage two. And things in the world are starting to change based on your node's development. So as you can see in the alpha, things like bridges popping up or vendors carrying better gear for crafting, things like that. That's just the beginning because in the final version of the game, this is going to give you dungeons that other nodes may lock you out from if they're not progressed. Questing areas, various resources, things like that. They all tie into the node. So every Every single server is going to be different. Eventually you're going to get to stage two, which is the encampment stage. As you can see in the alpha, this area is now a lot bigger. There's some walls being put up. There's some more permanent structure in the area. But right now in the alpha, other than that, the NPCs don't really change. It's just your basic fender NPCs. There aren't really much more quests or anything, but the bridges in the area do change like I mentioned earlier and the NPCs give you more goods. But this is alpha. This alpha is not a test for content, meaning that this node is never gonna give you the full population in alpha one. It's not gonna give you everything that the node is meant to give you in the final version of the game. But setting out exploring this node, again, now NPCs all seem to have their own areas before they're all clustered in the middle. Other than that, there's not much has changed outside the architecture and the layout from the stage one to the stage two node. Now stage three, which you've seen in my other video, is where it gets interesting as permanent buildings pop up and things like that. What I would like to see, which again, it's alpha, so I'm sure it's probably coming, is some way to tell that a node is close to leveling up because you can't see the XP right now, but I'd like to see like more construction going on in the end of life stage two nodes as we get into the stage three nodes and things like that, like little subtle hints to see that your world is growing and it's gonna continue to grow and you can see all of this work that you and the other members of your server have put into it are paying off, even if it's little subtle things that are eventually gonna disappear. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video on the 
current nodes in alpha one stages zero through two stage three is in another video which you can find at the end of this one if you want to go check it out and explore a stage three node let me know your thoughts on nodes in the comments down below and if you're new to ashes at all and have yet to make an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below otherwise be sure to click that subscribe button hit that thumbs up turn on the bell for notifications and stay tuned for a lot more to come